already have lots of populations around the world eating insects uh, on their day to day. In some places, insects are considered a delicacy. Welcome to the switch. I'm Elena Casas. The market in animal feed is dominated by soya products, but in the UK, they're mostly imported from South America, where soy farming has fueled deforestation. One alternative is to feed livestock with insects. Barclays estimated the global market in insect protein could be worth $8 billion by 2030. Well, in Edinburgh, better bugs are farming the larvae of the black soldier fly. And CEO Thomas Ferrugia joins me now. Thomas, hello. Why the black soldier fly? Black soldier fly is an excellent protein uh, means of converting food surplus or wastes into a high quality protein source and they're very robust in what they can eat so it means that farmers can just grow them on a range of things and once you've got that protein source it works really well from an animal feed perspective so you can feed it to fish pigs chickens pets black soldier flies will feed on virtually any food waste creating a large potential market from restaurants and catering firms looking for a green way to dispose of leftovers as long as regulatory concerns are assuaged well we currently grow them on pre-consumer vegetable food waste or surplus uh, and that means there's no meat involved or anything like that but there have actually been uh, studies commissioned by the Food, Stand uh, Food Standards Agency, uh, now or Authority, FSA, and they have looked at growing black soldier fly on different things, including, say, canteen, canteen waste or things with meat in them. And the risk, the risk isn't there in terms of any transmission of disease. So we are building up this evidence base to be able to ask also for change in what we can feed the insects. What about the yuck factor in that consumers might not want their meat or their pets to have been fed on insects? Animals tend to eat insects as part of the diet. When you think about it, you know, salmon actually has the enzymes and the gut is geared up to process insects, especially in the freshwater stage. Chickens, again, they'll see these things in the wild. And uh, the, the actual protein quality for pets is more akin to a meat, so you do, you do get benefits out of that as well. The bigger market, though, is livestock. Farm animals consume around 20% of the world's protein in direct competition with humans. In the UK, a failure to update food safety legislation post-Brexit means pigs and chickens can't be fed processed insects. But in the EU and US, the industry is already scaling up, with major manufacturers, including Cargill and Tyson Foods, farming insects. I think eventually insect farming will become a very standard technology. Uh, in the same way, you know, you can be a pig farmer or a chicken farmer, you can buy the farm and set it up and get going. I think that's what's going to happen. And so, yes, I think there will be more and more of a larger corporates involved in the space. Insect protein is getting to the point where it's achieving price parity with fish meal, depending again on area and how you're farming. It will come down, I think, long term to be comparable with soya. Uh, if you're growing them on things which arguably would go to landfill, you're saving a CO2 footprint there. So it can be carbon negative to carbon neutral. Do you think humans should also eat insects? Uh, I'm probably a bit biased, but yes, I, I actually think this is going to be inevitable. It's not going to be an option. It's going to be something we do uh, because we are looking at, we are going to have to think about ways of feeding a growing population. There's going to be more people and the world can only produce so much with our existing system. So yes, we are going to be having to eat this and it's not going to be, I think eventually it's not going to be up for debate. It's just going to be there. We already have lots of populations around the world eating insects uh, on their day to day. In some places, insects are considered a delicacy on par with beef in terms of price. Uh, I think in the West, we're just going to get our heads around it gradually. And it'll be, as kind of mentioned, it's going to work its way in and we just accept it. Mm -hmm.